Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we are talking about five different types of ladders that we use in everyday construction. Uh, you wouldn't believe it, but we use a lot of different types of ladders in the way we build, depending on what we need and adjustability. So don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon every time we're putting out fresh content. Also, don't forget to check out Dr. Dex Masterclass of Deck Board Bending, available at drdex.com or drdexmasterclass.com. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing everybody kind of knows are uh, just a standard step ladder. These are all different types of step ladders. There's a one step, a two step, and a three step right here. Uh, these blues three steps we use quite often. Sometimes when we're um, just a foot or two off the surface of the ground, I like to use this ladder because it's easy to carry. It's quick and dirty. This one, it's made by Telesteps. Uh, it's just a single step. You wouldn't think you'd use it very often, but it's incredible how often we do use this. Uh, a lot of times I use this just to access the inside of our trailer because depending on the elevation from the ground, it just becomes a convenient step up, one step into the trailer. That's our first type. These are all aluminum or aluminum and fiberglass style ladders. So uh, we use these frequently for the lower part of our build. All right, what you see here is a multiple adjustable ladder. Um, this is a generic version of a brand called Little Giant. Everybody, a lot of people have heard of Little Giant. If you haven't, um, I think you can pick them up at Costco. But basically what it is, is you can adjust the height of it, of it as an A-frame. You can unfold it into a telescoping ladder or uh, a standard like 12 foot high ladder. Uh, it's kind of cool because all you have to do is pull these pins and then you adjust the height of the ladder down to what you need. If you're on a hillside, you can adjust one side taller and one side lower so that you can still have a reliable ladder with different uh, pitches and elevations if it's really steep. So we use these on hillsides quite a bit. We don't usually open them up too much to an extension ladder unless we just need that ability to catch like a, a 10 or a 12 foot high spot where maybe a standard ladder won't go. So if we unfold it there, now it becomes a climbable ladder, like so. So, and then again, you can still adjust the height. It'll go from like six to eight feet up to 12 feet. So we do use it that way sometimes if we're trying to get up the side of a house and we don't have the room to put a three-legged or, or a standard ladder in. The next type of ladder we have, this is similar to a standard A-frame ladder, but it has steps on both sides. So we use these quite a bit. We like to, uh, so you can climb it from either side instead of only being able to climb it from one side. So I really like this type of ladder. This is a six-footer. We have a couple of these on site. Sometimes we run scaffolding through here and we'll use it for, as, from both sides. We can run a scaffold here and a scaffold here and run them out. They're not as stable as a three-point ladder. We'll show those to you next, but uh, they work really well. I've had these for years. You can see they're all faded. This one's fiberglass and aluminum, uh, but it works really well. And if I had my options, I think I would always buy a dual-sided ladder over a single-sided ladder just because it's more universal. So that's another type of ladder that we use almost every day. And what you see here, uh, some people call this an orchard ladder or a three-point ladder. It's probably the safest type of ladder to use because it, it, it becomes very stable. It has the two feet here and then a third leg that prongs down and becomes very stable. They use these a lot in apple orchards. We have an eight foot, a 10 foot, and a 12 foot version of this ladder. Uh, we use them all the time and they're very stable. So we, uh, as long as you have something solid to set the foot on and it doesn't stuff down into the ground, that's the one thing is if you're on soft ground, either you gotta put down a piece of plywood, a piece of lumber, or maybe not use this type of ladder because you're putting so much more weight and pressure on that one point. I've also used this ladder on stairs. I've clamped an extension to the fiberglass point and made it go longer so I could use it in certain situations where I would not have been able to use a standard ladder or the multi-adjustable ladders wouldn't work for me. So uh, another good product right here. I would recommend using this if you want something really stable and safe. All right, and my last ladder that I have for you is by a company called Telesteps, which is owned by Regal Ideas. 
and this is a telescoping ladder. They make different versions. They have a tactical and some standard telescoping ladders. This is a telescoping A-frame ladder. So basically, you take it apart, you take the Velcro strap off, and then it will extend like so. And so if space is a consideration for you, this is a great option because it condenses down and touch into such a small space and then it'll telescope up into uh, eight foot high A-frame telescoping ladder. So uh, it's really stable. What's cool is there's little green, these red marks turn green and then when it's green, you know you're safe to climb. So if it's not green, don't climb on it. But uh, you can go up to this high right here. They don't want you going up any higher than that. So it's kind of cool. It has this couple extra um, rungs that go up that you can actually lean against while you're working. So these are really awesome ladders for, we keep one of these in our job site trailer in case we don't happen to have any ladders on site and then all of a sudden, oh wow, man, I forgot something. I need that part or I need to grab that thing I left up on the upper deck. We always have something with us that will allow us to get up to eight, nine feet, 10 feet in the air. So there you go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you wanna be notified every time we're putting out first content. Also, don't forget to check out Dr. Dex Masterclass at drdexmasterclass.com or right through drdex.com. Thank you very much. Have a great day.